So, uh, it was pretty bad, didn't uh, video a lot of this, but uh, got everything going, mounted the uh, motor. I went ahead and did a, uh, a hybrid of the motor mount here, in, or not the motor mount, but the motor itself. I did the, uh, the box from the Sukhoi, and I used the Foresight motor only because the, if you look inside here, um, only because the motor wires are long enough to run all the way back and around. I'm sure you can modify any of the motor wires to make it work. Uh, I also mounted all of the, the, the brick itself in there and ran the uh, control surface horns out to the back. I used, again, the stuff from the Sukhoi, so I didn't even have to really make stuff. Uh, so as you can see, this is the telltale, you know, park zone type connectors on there. And basically the hardest part was running the carbon rods through the inside because there's little holes. So if I could recommend, I, I didn't really read the, uh, the instructions to see if it recommended to do this, but it did say that you should install these after it's all covered. I think it would be much easier to get in through the bottom here uh, before this bottom is covered. So. If you're building this yourself, before you cover most of it, run your run your connectors on the bottom here, and run them through, so you can make it a lot easier on yourself. Still got to get wheels. Didn't buy those yet. Not sure what I'm going to do, and uh, then I'm going to decide where I'm going to mount the battery and everything else. Went with the the stock Park Zone Sukhoi propeller, so the thing just looks ridiculous. I mean, it's just a huge propeller, but I think it'll be just fine. It'll probably have way too much power so all right one last thing went ahead and uh, went ahead and put some tires on it got some EPP foam and just made some tires uh, put the battery in it as you can see just just the one cell it's actually 180 milliamp Hyperion uh, I went out it's dark out right now went out and just test fluid just to see how it would go uh, just for a quick Quick run around, thing has plenty of power. Too much power almost, and it just, it floats like crazy. It's gonna be a great indoor flyer. Can't wait to get it on video for you guys so you can see it. Uh, of course the wheels will be changed. I don't know if I'm gonna go with Trexlers or anything like that. With all the power that it has, I might go with some, some heavier wheels and kind of make it a little more old fashioned looking. So, no, it's a great flying airplane. Thanks again guys for watching this entire Quick Oats build. The entire build took about 5 hours and 15 minutes start to finish to get a nice indoor flyer. So hopefully you check out uh, Steven's Zero model and get one of your own.